Hello artists! Today I want to share with you my most inspiring eye candy books. So if you are interested in adding some eye candy to your library, this is the video for you. These are books that I particularly like because of the artwork and color inspiration in them. If you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Irit. I'm an intuitive color-led artist based in Austria and Europe, and on my channel I share my artsy adventures. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more information on one of the books that I mentioned here, then let me know in the comments below. Also, I would love it if you add to this collection your own color inspiration eye candy books. Let's get into it. I invite you to subscribe and ring the bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And one last thing before we get into this is that my new course, The Rainbow Method, is available today. Today is the last day to get it for the introductory price of $97 instead of $147, which is $50 off the price today. So please, 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 please take advantage of it now before it's gone. I'll start with the newest addition to my collection and there is a full flip through video of this book. So if you want to see more, then check out that video. I will link it here. I'll just give you a quick flip through. This is, it's kind of a little bit of everything. Uh, motivation, inspiration, and ins getting inspired from other artists. And it just has, as you can see, a lot of colorful eye candy. The artwork is amazing. And this is written by two sisters, Emily Powell and Sarah Moore. And Emily Powell, you can also find on her website, she has these like Zoom, recorded Zoom classes, or you can join and get notified and like join the live stream. I actually bought one. I haven't gone through it yet but she seems like a really fun uh, artist. And of course, I she speaks in my color language and that's why I was uh, drawn to her artwork and her book. So this is really beautiful. It's a new uh, edition, so it still hasn't, it hasn't stood the test of time, but we'll see. The next one I wanna mention is Color Choices by Stephen Quiller, Making Color Sense Out of Color Theory. And this is uh, the only color theory book in my list today. Um, I just think if you want to learn more about color theory, then this is my favorite book. I have, I think a couple more and this one is my favorite. I just think it is comprehensive, but not too boring, very clear. And the artwork is really, really inspiring. Just the color stories and uh, his color sense really speaks to me. I mean, you know, purples and yellows. This is one of my favorite combos. So I'm not gonna flip through the whole thing. Again, if you want to see a thorough flip through of any one of these books, then just leave me a comment below and I'll, if there are enough requests, I will make that video. But this is the book for you if you want to learn about color theory and also, you know, just like be inspired by beautiful color work, color work, artwork that actually, you know, you can really see how he uses all of these different um, color palettes that you can choose, you know, uh, analogous colors, monochromatic, complementary, split complementary, triad, all those things. If you're not familiar with the words that I'm using, then I highly recommend buying this book. I had it for years. I think it's one of the best books you can get when it comes to color theory. So you can see there's a lot. This is like, you know, if you want to take a deep dive into color theory, but there's also plenty of eye candy artwork with, you know, just like beautiful, luminous colors. So this is definitely a recommendation. Now, the next one is a little bit of a weird choice, but you can be inspired by non-art books. So I picked this up. This is a kid's book. I have no idea what it says. I picked it up in Japan a few years ago, but I found the artwork so inspiring. 
that I just had to get it. I mean, everything about this spoke to me, the colors, the lines. I mean, look at this. This is like everything that I love. It's like messy, sketchy, pretty colors, pops of hot pink. Uh, I mean, yes, 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 and yes. And just like these childlike drawings, I love that. Look at this. I mean, this is so pretty. It makes me so happy. Kids' books are, you know, illustrated kid books are a great way to find some eye candy and color inspiration. Okay, now let's get into actual uh, art books. If you're not familiar with Felix Scheinberger, he is a German watercolor artist or sketch artist. He also has a really fun course in Domestica. So if you want to see him in action, uh, I highly recommend that course. So if this is like, if this style is appealing to you, check that out. He has a few books. I have three. Um, I think they're all fantastic, but my favorite is probably this one. And this is kind of the most basic one. So I would recommend uh, to get this one if you want to. Um, you know, get acquainted with him. And he has some like provocative uh, sketches. Uh, he does a lot of sketches in like nightclubs in Berlin. Uh, so it's quite out there. But if that doesn't uh, bother you, I just love his line work, his sketch, like the whole quality of his sketches is really, really speaks to me as someone who just loves this sketchy style. And this book is just, I mean, it's delicious, a joy to the eye. I mean, just like everything about it makes me super happy. Uh, whether you're into urban sketching or not, I think you will enjoy it. And again, this is like a book, one of my favorite in my art collection. Um, I just love everything about it. And you can see it's just full of these yummy, yummy little <laughs> nuggets and really good info. And yeah, he travels the world and sketches places. And it's just lovely to see his take, how he captures the atmosphere and just his use of watercolors and sketches. I, I love this book so much. Every time I open it, it makes me happy and inspired. So, Urban Watercolor Sketching by Felix Scheinberger. Next is one of my favorite mixed media artists. This is Ray Missigman. Hopefully I'm not um, ruining her name, butchering her name, so I do apologize. And she also has like all kinds of classes on her website and I just love her color sense and yeah, just kind of everything she does. I think it's mostly because of the colors and the texture really, really speaks to me. So this is a kind of, I think, what you mostly find with these kinds of books in this format. I think this company sadly no longer exists, Northlight Books. I think I actually looked into it. But there's just like a lot of delicious photos and then there are um, a lot of like step-by-step -step tutorials showing you how to create uh, her kind of look. Again, just lovely. So this is, you know, you, you do have step-by-step -step, but you can just look at the pretty colors and the textures and be inspired by that. So this is like one of my favorite mixed media uh, books. I think it's just super fun. I mean, look at this. She has like, she does all kinds of like cute little things and uh, it's just, this just makes me happy. Again, I'm really drawn to color and she uses a very similar color palette to what I like. Lots of bright pinks and splatters and it's like messy and sketchy. Love that. So really, really fun book for mixed media. Paint Play Explore by Ray Missigman. 
Next, this is also a relatively new book to me, and I really like it. This is called How to Paint Fast, Loose, and Bold with Paddy Molika, or by, not with, by Paddy Molika, Simple Techniques for Expressive Painting. Um, I think it has some really good nuggets of information, but I just love the color inspiration. You can see this is like super vibrant and interesting. And I think she uses here mostly acrylics. And it's just a lot of fun. So this is not really watercolor, but I think it has a lot of interesting information and the color inspiration here is great. So I really wanted to show you this. You can see there's a lot of like color mixing, color um, combinations. There's a lot of useful information about creating color schemes and color stories for your paintings. So I just, I think it's a good book, again, to learn about how to use color and the artwork <laughs> really speaks to me. Hello, pink. So I wanted to show you this. So pretty. How to paint fast, loose, and bold. Next, we have uh, two books by Dina Wakely, which is uh, another very well-known kind of mixed media artist. And um, from the two of these, I think they're kind of more of the same. Uh, so if you, you know, have one of them and you love them, then you will enjoy the second one. But just based on the eye candy, this one is my favorite, Art Journal Freedom. Uh, so she mostly works in art journals. And she has like her own line of supplies. But I just think this book, again, it's very similar in format to this one. And... So you have like tools and then you have a bunch of tutorials step by step how to create uh, some of her, um, you know, looks and techniques. And it's just really pretty, very inspiring. If you love uh, particularly, you know, working in sketchbooks and art journaling, then this is a really fun book to have. Uh, again, her color sense speaks to me a lot and that whole messy style also really, really speaks to me. If you like also things like collage, stamping, that sort of thing, you will love this book. I kind of stepped away from these things in recent years, but I used to do a lot of it and I have like tons of sketchbooks uh, that are filled with this and you can find some uh, sketchbook flip throughs on my channel from years ago when I was more into this kind of style. So if you're interested in that, I will try to remember to link uh, one of those videos. I have some sketchbooks that, you know, art journals that I really treasure and I absolutely love them. Okay, the last artist I'm going to mention is Shirley Trevina. Hopefully I didn't butcher that book. And I think she has a couple more books. I have these two. I think they're amazing. I think her use of color, again, is just like this, a little bit of a messy, sketchy look that really speaks to me. I don't know if I could choose a favorite from these two, so I'll just show you a little bit. You can see the size, if that matters to you, if you prefer like a certain size, the taking risk with watercolor is a little bit smaller. And then we have breaking the rules of watercolor. Again, this is kind of, these two books I feel is kind of more of the same, but, give it to me because she is amazing and her artwork is amazing and I should actually look if there is any chance that I could get a little original of hers that would be amazing but I I don't know if that's in my budget so super super inspiring I love the way she paints I love her style and you do get, I don't know if in this book, yeah, you also get some step-by-step uh, -step tutorials, but I find this is really next level. This is for, I feel like, advanced artists. 
and her paintings are complicated and there's a lot going on. She has these like full on complicated like still life exhibitions that she creates and then paints and um, her style is so, so, so lovely and appealing to me. Uh, from her tiny sketches to her like full on artwork, I really need to look if she has like any more books because I kind of want all of them in my library. I mean, look at this. So inspiring, so beautiful. Um, this might be one of those books that are a little bit frustrating because you look at it and you're like, I'm never going to be able to make it. But <laughs> um, it's still super glorious and inspiring. I don't know what else to say except that I absolutely love this book. Everything about it makes me happy. And I mean, just look, look at the colors. She is a master of colors. These are like tiny sketches. Look how pretty that is. Really a master artist when it comes to color and texture and composition and everything. So I'll show you this one as well, Breaking the Rules. A lot of her artwork. So this, I would say, is probably more of an um, inspiration or if you have a library of artists, of, like books about artists that you enjoy, maybe less really like pure step-by-step -step tutorials, then um, I think this is a very worthy book. You can see she has like these complicated setups with lots of like beautiful patterns and colors she reveals like a lot of her, you know, secrets here, but it's, I think it's very, very hard to capture or accurately recreate her style because I do think it's so complex and just like messy and complicated in the most beautiful way. She shares her sketches here and her artworks, and I love that combination. So you see, have like all kinds of like little sketches and then the larger pieces, which I absolutely love. I mean, look at this. This is just so beautiful. I mean, even that just makes me happy. <laughs> see, that's the setup. And then you can see how she works on the piece. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite watercolor artists. I really love almost like everything that she does. She has also these, many times she will have areas that are a lot less it's just less going on and it's one of the beautiful things about her artwork so pretty look at that just that yeah really a master in my opinion humble opinion so Shirley Trevina I will definitely now go look if she has any more books that I want to add to my collection <laughs> And I hope this video was, you know, helpful, inspiring, and let me know if you want to see more recommendations. And of course, again, I would love to know your own recommendations. I would like to mention like an, honorar an on honorary mention here, which is of course, Jean Haynes. She has amazing books, but I also feel like everyone knows her. And I don't know if everyone knows the books that I showed you. Here, so Jean Haynes, she has amazing, amazing books. Uh, if you want to learn more about loose painting and watercolors, she has lots of books. She has an online school, um, and of course, her set with Daniel Smith of watercolors is really beautiful. Um, so I wanted to mention her as well. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.